hi guys um my first thoughts before i start filming is i just want to send all of you my love what strange days we are living in i hope you're all well and staying at home and all my love to you if you're watching this and you are not well um i didn't film this look but I was working from home obviously and this week and shared some stories and people went nuts for my makeup and it was just very quick and easy working from home makeup so I thought I'd share it with you guys it shouldn't take too long so I'll whiz through it but um, I started by prepping my base with some of the Bobbi Brown hydrating water fresh cream just to create a moisturised base for my makeup to go on top of. And for my base I just used a bit of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in light. Just applied with my fingers for speed. love how natural that looks. For those particular stories I actually used a little bit of Pat McGrath's Skin Fetish Foundation just over my cheeks to add a little bit of extra coverage. This is number eight medium. But it's not in any way a heavy makeup look but just something to help you feel pulled together and something that would work well if you're doing any work to camera. Thank the Lord for Zoom and all other platforms. Little bit of Stay Naked Concealer by Urban Decay and I'm using the shade 40. You might be able to hear Bo Diana downstairs. She's two now, and I tell you what, being in quarantine or in isolation with a two-year-old is interesting. So just blend that under the eye so the eyes are nice and fresh. Just using my ring finger to blend. Quick slurp of tea. A little bit of Chanel. So late down de Chanel, which I've been training myself to love. I know that lots of makeup artists out there absolutely adore it. I mean it smells good enough to eat. I just found previously I couldn't get it quite warm enough on my skin. That's it but I was watching a video by Kim Sohn who works for Chanel Beauty and she was saying you just build it till you get the coverage or colour you want. So that's what I've been doing. But it does work for a lovely cream bronzer look which is really flattering on the skin. If you can avoid too many powders it really does help create just a really youthful tan to the skin. There we go and I was going to take the excess through the crease of my eye. Just to warm up my lids a little. I also have my Bare Minerals bronzer in warmth. I'll just do a little on my neck to make sure my neck is as warm as my face. And then just a tiny bit to top up. This isn't an essential step, but it is what I did on my Instagram stories the other day, and it was met with rave reviews. So there you go. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that onto my eyelids as well. And this is just an Anastasia. It's actually a foundation brush, but um, it's been one of those brushes I've had in my makeup bag this past week and it's come in handy for so many different things. And then a touch of powder through my T-zone 
This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Powder. And just dabbing a bit of that just through the centre of my face. Really subtle blush this time. This is the Dim Infusion Ambient Blush by Hourglass. And this is a Bobbi Brown Angled Face Brush. And I'm just taking it over the front of the apples of my cheeks. For a soft, peachy, pinky blush look. Eyes were super simple. I'm just going to brush my brows. This is um, a dual ended brow brush from Bobbi Brown Cosmetics and then using their dark brow kit I'm just going to take a bit of that colour through the head of my brows to start with just to fill them in a little but again I don't I don't need too perfect a brow look for this working from home look it's just a little bit of extra definition and I do love the speed and ease at which you can do that with a powder. So you simply push the powder into the brows always following the direction of the growth of the hair. So here at the head they just grow straight up And what I'm trying to do is just fill in a little bit of the skin behind the hair so that my brows just look that little bit stronger. I'm not carving them out at all. I'm not going to put concealer around them. This is just quick and easy powder brows for a gentle but polished working from home look. Now for ease, I simply used the same brow powder as eyeliner. So on a small brush, this is the detailed brush from Real Techniques, I just pushed that darker brow powder into the root of my lashes all the way along for a really gentle liner. So nothing too precise, nothing too hard, just softly defined eyes with powder liner. It's always handy when you've got products that can multitask right. Now if you want a stronger look, you could always dampen your brush slightly, however I didn't this time. There we go, simple as that. Curl the lashes of course before mascara. These are the Bobbi Brown Cosmetics eyelash curlers. You saw there I like to give it a good pulse at the root of the lashes. Look at that for a good curl. Then Urban Decay Cosmetics Perversion Mascara, which is excellent if you want to achieve really good thickness and volume in not a lot of time. So that was probably 10 seconds and you see really excellent coverage. Okay, so that's the eyes done. So simple, really soft, but kind of framed. Then on the lip, I just use a bit of classic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip pencil.
gosh I love this and then just the Clarins instant light lip perfector this one is number three for really light creamy looking lips so there we go nothing too complicated nothing too impactful nothing too intense just easy to apply really wearable working from home makeup that will look great if you happen to be working on camera say for the first time okay my darlings take care of yourselves stay safe stay home stay well um any questions at all don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below and i'll get back to you and i'll see you really soon loads of love